Welcome to this next episode of YouTube where we put some fresh straw in the pen. And the reason why is temperatures are getting a little bit chilly. Uh, we've been averaging maybe 20 to 25 degrees. And we certainly want to make sure that Luna has a good bed of straw to lay in, not only in the dens at night, but during the day. And it does create some excitement. So you see Luna kind of resting uh, in the straw and it's all fairly intact um, for the first part of this scene. And then you'll see a series of op opportunities for the wolves to just kind of engage Luna. First of all, Denali comes up and does a four leg stab and engages her in what we call in a bite chase. And uh, again, just a little bit of wrestling. And you can see Luna so much smaller than Denali, but certainly capable of interacting and wrestling with Denali. And Bolts, who is about Den Aiden's height, is getting a little dominance from Aiden in the foreground. And again, these. Uh, in our experience, these rank order issues seem to be a little gender specific, meaning that Aiden's focused on the male pup and not so much the female pup. And that seems to be the way things are for Luna. She doesn't really get involved in much unless she starts it. And here she's going to go over and do a grab on bolts and engage him in some jaw sparring. And so as I said, the straw was all nice and laid out at the beginning of these clips and by the end it's pretty much just pulverized and scattered so we've been using straw on a regular basis here and again you can see Lino, Luna with a little hop there that back right leg when she puts some weight on it she gets a little it's a, probably a little stressful so we um, started her on some joint supplements she's just not that great about taking pills um, still continuing the University of Minnesota's recommended IT balance supplement and we will continue that she didn't have a real good weight gain this week. As a matter of fact, she's kind of just stabilized at about that 62 and a half to 63 pounds. Not certain what that's about. We are still feeding her twice a day. She chooses not to eat sometimes. And so we put in uh, a large deer last Saturday, so she fed on that quite a bit. And we also brought in a deer uh, or a beaver on Wednesday, and she was observed feeding on that quite a bit. So we're really trying to maximize the food as this temperature conditions occur. Here's Aiden again doing a stand over Luna and blocking Denali a little bit as soon as Aiden leaves Denali's back into it and Denali is acting just like a big pup. I mean he's really not uh, aggressive with her but you know he's just so much larger we obviously are concerned when he gets into a real rough housing kind of wrestling mode and this is what he's doing here. So Luna's on her back and this is you know, not unusual that they go back and forth, sometimes Bolt, sometimes Luna. But here's Luna's salvation, that's Aiden. He comes over and blocks and does a pretty serious uh, uh, block onto Denali and a threat display and just kind of drives Denali off. So he's probably the best thing that Luna has going for her. And Luna doesn't always appreciate it. She comes and does a bite to Aiden's face, so even though he's the one who just stopped the chase. So as you can see, a little hop there again, but she's right in the middle of it, running and chasing and trying to dominate Bolts. And so they do go back and forth. You know, sometimes Bolts will be on top, sometimes Luna will be. The pups don't seem to be specific gender issues, obviously. Uh, again, as pups, they're just wrestling. They see each other as pup mates, and they just kind of wrestle with each other. So it, Luna will obviously be a big player in this rank order, male rank order here this winter because she's going to contribute to dominance. As you see here, um, she has no problem pinning whoever this is pinning Bolts. Uh, and, and if Bolts is being you know, dominated fairly intensely by Aiden and Denali in the rank order, Luna may be a contributing factor to that. Although the good thing for Bolts, he's pretty timid. He just goes down in the submissive posture and just does what a lower ranking wolf is supposed to do and that's submit. So again you see a little bit more intensity there from Aiden. Aiden's doing a fairly aggressive tail rag and some snarls towards uh, lip curls uh, towards Denali and, and really kind of blocking him. Denali's ears are off to the side so he doesn't like it when Aiden does these blocks and he'll come over to the camera and try to get a little respite from Aiden there. But that's what's been going on and again it's all very calm, all very social, but certainly has the tendency to uh, ramp up as the winter conditions increase. We have lots of deer, deer hide in the pen, and that really is entertaining for Luna. She's got a real strong predatory drive, so she does a lot of head shaking, and those are predatory behaviors. Denali tries to take it from her. 
She's very possessive about food, and she can easily guard things from Denali. Now, again, so she's got a little distraction there because she's trying to deal with bolts, and Denali kind of keeps taking stuff from her. But we've watched Luna just grab onto Denali's neck and just kind of hold on to him and, you know, not back down at all. And Denali's a, he's a fairly mild-mannered uh, adult. He, he doesn't take, you know, um, anything too seriously and he'd rather back off than really do a confrontation. So so you can see he's really acting like a big juvenile is what he's acting like, you know, a yearling instead of a four-year-old. It's a good thing Aiden's um, a little mature as an adult. So we continued to film this, and again, it was probably about almost maybe 45 minutes of activity. And, of course, this is all going on prior to us opening. That's the frustrating part as the public, uh, we open at 10, and... You know, wolves get ramped up early in the morning, and, and uh, by the middle of the day, even if it's 40, you know, it's a little warmer, and so then they kind of settle down. So uh, here's Bolts doing the same hide. And again, back to that idea that when you run with something, you're this source, you may have won something, but you're the source of, of a chase. And so he's gotten pretty good about, you know, taking something, but then as soon as he recognizes that everybody's after him, he just drops it. Probably a good behavior for a lower ranking wolf to, uh, to have. So as I said, Luna's weight's um, a little bit concerning to me. I really had to hope that she'd gain a few more pounds uh, this week. Uh, stabilize. Sometimes they do stabilize and she might have a, sp a growth spurt you know, here in a week or two, but um, we are probably seeing the effects of colder weather burning more calories um, than she's utilizing, so not putting on, putting on growth. Uh, she's certainly strong. I mean, there's no doubt this uh, pup can withstand any of the interactions that go on with the bigger adults. Bolts, he's at 81 pounds, so you can see he's almost as tall as Denali right now. And he is able to interact. He's getting a little bit more brave. And here he's doing some jaw sparring back to Aiden. Of course, Aiden, if you notice here, is uh, really, uh, this is not uh, an agonistic behavior. This is very social. Aiden's really just kind of allowing him to do what he wants. And then back to Luna, picking on her hide. So Luna and is defending from Bolts, and as she turns to deal with Bolts, uh, Denali gets it, but that doesn't mean she can't ga grab Denali by the leg. And that's a, you know, with those sharp puppy teeth, that's a little bit of pain there. So Bolts tries to go get it, um, goes into a submissive rollover, because he does not want to engage with Denali. And then there's many, many hides out there, so it's not like the end of the world. Uh, but uh, for Luna it is because she wants all to possess all things that um, involve deer hide. So, like I said, you can see the straw is just kind of getting more and more trampled and more and more trampled. And by the end of the filming of this, it's like we didn't even put any straw in. So we we bought multiple bales uh, for this week, and we'll just continue to use that straw as needed. And the older wolves need it too. You know, it's not... Um, um, obviously, wild wolves don't get this kind of care. They don't get straw. They, you know, just deal with the ambient temperatures. But it's our job as captive managers to make the animals as comfortable as possible, especially the older ones. And so here we have uh, Grizzer getting his straw. Got a little, a little dust in the nose and sneezed there a little bit, did a face wipe. But Grizzer is having no problem with um, getting ready for winter. As a matter of fact, he's putting on the weight a little bit more than we probably want him to have. But that's typical for Grizzer. He has a tendency to get uh, pretty heavy during the winter season and then lose it during the spring. And a lot of that's hair, but a lot of that's flesh. You know, he's definitely reaping the benefits of having pup leftovers when they don't always eat their me morning meals. So other than that, um, his head is completely healed up, so it didn't get a chance to wash off that antibiotic yet, but it's um, whatever he scraped it on, that scrape is healed and closed up. And we do a straw inside the den as well as outside the den. And you can see it's a really good fit for Grizzer. This space is south, so it gets good sun. And it's got a really good protected area, so it uh, keeps the snow from building up in there. And real nice place for him. Over in retirement, again, the same thing. Uh, we um, make sure Shadow Malik have enough bedding. We didn't do a lot on the top because we're still having freezing rain snow sleet um, so that makes the straw real wet on the top much easier when we have just snow when we have drier conditions i mean the snow can lay on the straw and it doesn't get it as wet as pure rain 
So here's a clip that of Shadow. He's starting to sniff something in the air, and we have had a, a report of an injured wolf in the uh, around the yard um, in the back on the driveway adjacent to the parking lot. Uh, mangy wolf who looks like he's got an injury. He's been kind of hanging around. So you kind of wonder if he's picking up that scent. And then he wants to go into a howl. And he starts to go into a howl. And then he doesn't follow through. So again, two different things happen. He's sent, scenting the air. And again, not certain what he's picking up. But he does go into a howl. And, and later there'll be a fairly lengthy howl. We At the time I was in the... Ex retired pack so I didn't get into the exhibit to film I've been trying to get that pack howling and unfortunately the only time they usually howl is when shadow howls and when shadow is usually howls is when I'm coming and going out of retirement so I'll let you listen to shadow as he does a lone howl in the background you can hear the rest of the pack join in including Luna and Bones So that's it for this episode of YouTube. And again, thanks to all the people who send pig's ears. We are well in stock now, and Luna and Bolts are happy. They love pig's ears. And even though there's a little bit of wrestling and some, you know, what appears to be aggressive biting, most of it's being done by Luna. So I'm, again, happy to report that she's holding her own, and even though she's small, she can certainly maintain herself in this pack. So that's it. Again, thanks for watching. See you next week.